question. Uh, so, if you probably, who knows Kickback? Oh, okay. Such a percent. That's great. Who registered via Kickback? Okay. Uh, what's your name? Dan. You, Dan? Yes, Dan. Dan, I don't see you. <laughs> <laughs> Are you Margaret? Yes. Okay, uh, and who else? Uh, Mel, but I only registered like 10 minutes before the event started, so you have oh, to refresh. Okay. Interesting. Who else? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we might be a bit of a treat tonight. Nice. Okay, but I'll explain what that means later. <laughs> so, stay tuned. <laughs> and, uh, so, yeah, kickback. Uh, so, I will talk about kickback. And my name is Makoto, I'm one of the members of Kickback. And so what it does is, basically it's like a, a ticketing, like eventrivery.com. And the problem we're trying to solve is, yeah, first I will talk about problem, what we offer as a solution, and what we're trying to do uh, beyond what we have right now. And so the first problem is basically the meetup space. So I think this is packed, by no means. But you have no guarantee whether it's packed or it's less. So like you, how many people you allocated today? So 160 signed yeah, up. Yeah, 160. Like, I counted. It's about 60, right? But you always, as an event organizer, it's quite risky to find out that how much we're going to allocate. Because if it's too much, then it's uncomfortable. But like if you strip too early, then many people get, you know, uh, can't get in. So, and this is an example of uh, Trump. And we only have like a half and stuff. It's not about, it's nothing wrong with having like, you know, six people in the room, but like if that amount of like effort and cost and the expectation that you have, like if you already know there's only six people, there's different arrangement, maybe you can you know, buy your dinner instead of just a beer, you know. But if you know more accurately, probably you can do a bit more. So that's kind of starting point. And what we basically offer is that it's very, very simple logic, right? Probably anyone can think of it, is that basically you stake, or I don't really call stake, because it's legally not in the borderline, so I call commitment. You, if you commit certain ETH, and if you come, uh, you get. Uh, well, if, you, you, if you don't come, first of all, you lose, and then we'll share among the people who came. So this is one of the examples. It's actually the one tweet that, like, uh, yeah, so this guy basically uh, explained the rule in the tweet side, no white paper needed, just like tweet. <laughs> <laughs> but if you, yeah, if you go in, also deposit, and then no show, lose, come, and get it. And this is, was another actually tweet saying again, he was especially saying, I think he staked 0 0.002, no, 0 0.02, and uh, this was an event, there's about 100 people or something, and then about 30-40% of people didn't come, so he got extra 0 0.003 ETH, how much is it? I have no idea, but so if you start getting a tiny bit fraction of magical internet money, you go all over the internet and tweet and uh, say, hey, this is how much I got. So it kind of gives a, lots of fun, a bit of fun fact as well as, uh, point is not about uh, People, the people who stay always come, but it's kind of reverse. Like you only are CP when you are more certain that you are going going to come. So that gives more people who realize in the event later on to get in early because most of the time, like as the more popular it is, it just fill up too quickly, right? And so yeah, I'm gonna do the demo and. Uh, I live on mainnet, so I don't do things like cobalt network and all that stuff. I'll just do it in uh, mainnet. And then, so, like, yeah, so I see them. Okay, can you see? Okay, let me check. If there's no internet, oh. uh, I'll try. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work, but let's see. Yeah, I think we don't. Mm. There's Wi Fi here. Yeah, I think you connect. Everybody has no Wi Fi, so I can. Sorry? Is it I'll get to it. I'll get to it. Okay, it's the same. So funny. Should I just get that? No, that's Oh, it's coming somewhere. I will see. Yeah, I think I'm trying to do 
life uh, demo received the net. Might be a bit. <laughs> Are you helping? <laughs> Maybe it doesn't work. I'll do it. Mm -hmm. Is there a guy called Lee? LED? No? Okay. Ross? Ross? Sir? Okay. Oh. <laughs> John <laughs> Mackenzie. Okay, so I think we might have like. Oh. Wow. So you have to check people out. You can't log yourself in via GPS. No. Yeah, that's one of the frequently asked frequently asked uh, requests. So like it is, I actually did it with two hundred fifty people. That was chaotic. Yeah. So if we want to handle like more bigger events. Uh, we need something like that, and I think I, I actually went to Hackathon for S Denver just last week, and there's someone who, who did it with uh, having the Raspberry Pi as a like a Wi-Fi hotspot. So only if you get access from this Wi-Fi, then you can get. That's kind of have a wider range than the GPS. GPS could yeah. could work, but like, you could also spoof and all the stuff. So there's lots of ways to. Or in yeah. the meantime, when everyone's meeting each other, you can self-approve. Yeah, so like, yeah, it kind of changed trust. So another idea I actually experimented is like, you know, when past few people came in, I'll check you in, but that turns you into the power to kind of check other people in. It's almost like a zombie game. You know, like if you get bit, you become zombie. Like, so there's a lot of ways to do it. Yeah. So, but, so now, Ben's in. And uh, Ross can't make it, right? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> and Dan. Yeah. Yes. So, John McKenzie? I, okay. I can, can make it. And Led is now in. Okay, so this is what you guys missed. <laughs> so next time, uh, this time like we did it with a meetup.com pulse, and then once it, it kind of fills up ish, we switch to uh, kickback. If this works, yes. well, we might split it. So like we'll do that early bug, like early 50 using kickback. So like you know, we have a committee put it in or something like that. Then like you left over to meetup. So you might get one chance to get. So this is. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just double check. So no mark attendees. So there's three people. Okay. So last call. No one. Ross, Lee, John. Nice. So when I'm doing a bit mark or <laughs> mark or not marking, it's like an um, off chain event. So I'm just having a different time to be able to get this to this track of it. But when I do the finalize, this is finalize and pay out. Shit. So this was happening. <laughs> this was supposed to happen, but let me try. If it doesn't work again, I'll figure out. Sorry. <laughs> so let's go again. Oh, okay. So it's supposed to happen. I don't know. Maybe I'm getting it. Yeah, it does work. Okay, I'll just take a screenshot and the razor button. Okay? Yeah, so what would have happened is like at that time, like in the MetaMask things, maybe MetaMask, no, yeah, that's working. Mm. Check the network. Yeah, it does work. No. I'll try one more time and it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Will you guys give up? I hope you give up at all. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but you get the sense? Yes. Uh, whoever. Do the mass like so three D so like three point zero point so stake was uh, three point zero point zero eight three times divided by how many four right six seven so, I think seven we get something like that so like it's yeah usually there's about ninety percent. So like it, so like this time like it's a bit less, but people get more money. So that that's quite good. So you end up wanting people not to show up. Yeah. So I often say like unfortunately they have to really turn up. So at a certain point it becomes economically viable to pay 
a guard in the door. So like I think that that gives so this is kind of simplest form of almost like a how to say escrow account, like you know people put everything on the pot and then depending on the result you decide. So how you decide there's lots of interesting opportunities to design one interesting one. This is still a primitive, you know, very, very primitive stage, but you can get the power of like the best based on contract. And yeah. How many more minutes? That's good. I think we could done, that's good. Oh. Yeah, so initially you start the, uh, it used to be called Block Party, and I've been doing it for, since 2016, and then uh, Will is one of the ones who found a bug, like uh, in a pub, like I said, well, like, you know, I was a smart contract, can you check if the like, contract is okay? And then when I came back from the, the pub, like the GitHub issue says bug, <laughs> and I can steal all the money. <laughs> Even if we, I know, you know, we don't do our SVP and stuff. That was, Tough time, but I think so far we haven't lost any money except that my account got hacked there. I lost my employees, but everybody's money has been safe so far. And then uh, so far, but like now we rebrand it as some, uh, it's called Kickback, and uh, we relaunched back in uh, October. And we've been doing about 15 events since we relaunched out at the Dev Home 4. And uh, yeah, we got like uh, several hundred hours VP, and then people got uh, money and people tweeting all over the world. And uh, so that's the base. And there's a couple of interesting use cases that in this space uh, event called Golicon, they kind of almost try into the kind of crowdfunding that like, uh, there's one feature that if you come, but like if you don't withdraw it's one week, I have a feature that like an uh, organizer can clear. Uh, Initially, I developed so that like, if someone had a like, technical mistake and, and uh, couldn't withdraw, I, I can send it back. But like, it stayed as is. And then she kind of, not abused, but like, you know, used uh, the specific niche case to raise uh, ETH, when this ended up raising 22 ETH to build a test net, which is great. Another uh, use case is that, like, so one of the interesting things is like, because it's a kind of events on blockchain or your registration information in the blockchain. So like it, it's very easy to airdrop stuff. And that, like I've been asking some companies, to ICO companies, do you want to do airdrop, airdrop? So far no one said that, but like in the last week, when, uh, a couple of weeks ago, I went, when I went to the hackathon, there was a team who was building a kind of proof of attendance as a separate thing. So like power is like, you know, if someone builds some system, we can easily integrate. And then, in this case, we had that so event hackers in Denver, and the day after, when after everybody's like a drunk hangover in the park, uh, on the after party, we decided to meet at the Casa Bonita. Does anyone know Casa Bonita? No one? Do, does anyone know South Park? Yes. <laughs> yes. So, so and apparently, Casa Bonita is a real thing. So, <laughs> I thought it's only an animation, but like, so we just met and then, then they created token and they just said <coughs> that you can do it because all the uh, information is on the blockchain. So you could do some interesting things together. And uh, yeah, we got interesting event. Well, good feedback is that everybody just got nuts about like they got like how much they got and all this stuff. Uh, we do get some negative feedback. Uh, and the organizer's positive feedback is that, uh, yeah, they, it's you know, when you go to like blockchain event, there's not much you can do with blockchain, and this is one of the few things you can experiment, have fun, and also probably it's relatively easy for to tell to your non crypt friend. So that use case, people love it. And also, there's one company who try using the event right and the uh, kickback side by side on the same event, uh, like this arrangement. But they have like uh, yeah, they also sold like 100 tickets. Of that, like only 10% of people turned up, and then you can kick back around 60. So it's it's still not like enough number to say that's always the case, but it was interesting use case to compare the two solutions. Now we do, of course, get some negative feedback. One is like you know, if you're gonna stake it, why don't you just sell it? So that's fair enough. And uh, another thing is the fact like we can clear if we don't show one week. Uh, people decide that that's like half pattern UX wise because you should actually send everything back to the users. Uh, also, organizers' feedback is that, like, uh, so this is the organizer from Nashville uh, user group that they said, like, uh, actually, how many people have these? <laughs> 
how many? Okay, how many people don't have it? So one person. <laughs> Uh, most of the meetup, uh, they, they are, I think, I mean, this is, is this trader or developer? Who, who are you guys? Trader. Two people, three. Developer. Okay. Believer. <laughs> Believer. Believer. <laughs> Believer. Yeah, yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means. But it's the point that this makes people buy it. Yeah. Uh, who has interacted with the DAP? So for DAP, decentralized DAP? Yeah, so that means it's 50%, right? So like it, just enforcing you the DAP kind of lose half the other half, I think. So that's the interesting one. Yeah. Uh, so, and also, most of the problem is people don't know how to download a wallet, and the other half is people don't have ease. That usually have a bit problematic for Meetup, which want to be more inclusive. So one of the solution, uh, yeah, and then also I get uh, from team of make adulting like always like you know, when die, when die. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, again, it's if you do it die, it's great from user's context that uh, it's almost dollar. But then you have to explain the notion of gas. Anyone knows gas? Yeah, but like, how would you explain gas? Yes, like, you know, when you do die, but like, there's a things in ease, all that stuff, like, it's a bit messy. So, there's a way, uh, some pattern to abstract this kind of gas notion and let someone else to pay for it. It's for meta transaction. And then, uh, also, there's a way, so, like, we did experiment that, so, like, you could actually buy the, uh, buy the, uh, that, so when you want to participate, uh, you could just use credit card and get a die straight to the smart contract, and also you can let uh, pay the gas in die. That's uh, kind of technically possible. That's something we are working on. So once we get that, then probably yeah, die go to the moon, and the, you know. The <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Thank, Thank you very you. much. This time it's free because this was the first time, but like, yeah, I'm treating this as a market kind of ways to help marketing and as well as a way to kind of make your event run more smoothly. So currently, uh, actually, we just pay uh, $1 per one turn up to the organizers. Uh, yeah. Once we enable kind of paid events, which is going to be the combination of like you know staking it, but you can also take some some big money. We could take the car, or currently we just take money from the organizer.